What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can insert and edit a pivot table timeline in Excel, which is awesome if you want to make your pivot table data more much more interactive and any visualizations that are based on your pivot table more interactive as well. So to do this, first highlight the pivot table that you want to make the timeline based off of. And then now click on the pivot table analyze tab that will appear at the top right. And then click under filter, click on insert timeline, which is just basically a slicer, but based on timelines. Now, as you can see here, you can insert timeline based on either active fields or off fields. In this case, there's only one that's relevant for a timeline, which is a date field. So click on date and then click OK. That might vary a little bit based on the date data that you're working with. But as you can see, clicking on date, now I have a timeline in Excel which as you can see, this is great because I can easily filter based on the time data that I have. So I can click on, for example, various boxes and see data that's just relevant to these specific ones. I can also drag this out and again, see whatever data is relevant to this range of dates. I can have it based on months or years or quarters or even days if that's applicable. Um, but let's just say I wanted to have it based on quarters instead. And yeah, and do that. And I can also, there's also a little sidebar at the bottom I can use to navigate between the dates. And I can also even clear this filter if I want to by clicking on this clear filter button right there. Now, I can even format this timeline slicer quite a bit, believe it or not. So I can click on timeline. And here I can adjust the design under timeline style. So I can click on some of these designs and change the color to best fit whatever theme I'm using. And I can click on the drop zone arrow and even create a new timeline style right there. Um, and then, you know, you, you might, this is gonna take a little bit of messing around with, but as you can see, I can adjust the header and the, the, the selected time block, whatever I would want to. For example, unselected time block, I can click on format. I can change the fill to be maybe black instead of the lighter color, for example, and then click OK and click on this drop down menu and as you can see my custom timeline filter is right there click on timeline style one and as you can see the unselected time blocks are in black and then what's not in black is my selected time block as you can see we kind of have some flexibility over how you want to style your um your your timeline going back to timeline i can also click report connections which is great because i just say wanted to have one timeline be based on on multiple pivot tables, whether for it be, for example, for a dashboard where I have multiple tables that, of data that are feeding to the same dashboard, I can have one timeline control multiple pivot tables, which will ultimately impact multiple graphics and make my dashboard much more dynamic. I only have one pivot table in this example, but as you can see, I can have this timeline applied to multiple pivot tables and pivot charts. Going back to the timeline, there are other things I can do with it too. So for example, I can adjust the height of the timeline and I can also adjust it with, or of course you get with the quarters too. And also I can even edit the different pieces that are shown. So for example, I can have the header shown with the head, the header not shown, which can make it, you know, a bit more explained with the header, but without the header, a bit more sleek. I can, you know, choose on the scroll bar or not on the scroll bar. I can have selection label or not on the selection label. And I can, which kind of shows what I have selected, and I can even show the time level. Not the time level, so for example, if I wanted to make this where users can only select by quarters, I can select time level and have that not shown. Um, so yeah, that said, I I hope you found this to be helpful. And you know, and, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.